Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's going to be, um, well, you know, the lighting's not perfect because I'm back in my room. I'm just going to switch from my room to the front room all the time. And obviously one eye's already done, so I'm going to do the other side. I'm just doing like a really deep, dark, pink, smoky eye. Yeah! And I've got loads of new bits, so I'm going to show you them. So I'm going to start off by covering the whole eyelid with the P. Louise base. This one's, I think... Is it number two, the rumour shade? So I'm gonna put that all over my lid. I'm look I'm looking over here because I've got the mirror there. If I bring it any more in the middle, it's gonna cover the whole camera. This is just a clear synthetic brush from Real Techniques. I'm just gonna blend out these edges so it makes it a little bit easier when it comes to doing the foundation. It's always harder doing it this way round with your brows and how to get around them. I find anyway. I just realised this. There's also going to be a lot of background noise going on behind you. Because um, the, the camera's right by the window. And I can't bring it any closer because you'll be right in my grill. So you're probably going to hear a lot of noise. What I want to know is what you actually prefer. If you prefer me doing voiceovers or if you prefer me talking to the camera. Because I actually prefer talking to the camera. I'm just using some pink now, by the way. Um, this is from the Zulu palette by Juvia's. This pink here. Um, I actually prefer talking to the camera because I feel like it's more real, like it's me now talking to you. And this is just going through the crease. Like it's me just talking to you now casually. But I mean, when I'm doing a voiceover, the, the whole video is already done. I'm no longer in that mood that I was in and I'm just sitting there basically just to tell you what I'm doing so it feels like I'm not being well I am being myself but you know what I mean it's not giving you much character is what I mean I'm keeping this up really circular so I'm not dragging it out much at all and the higher you go up towards the brow you want your hand to get a lot lighter with the pressure the lighter your hand is the more it will blend out not blend out I mean like get softer so like a lighter blend. The more pressure you put on, the more colour is going to come off your brush. So even if you're blending and blending, if your pressure's not right, you might blend too much of the product away or you might put too much product on, going around. I'm then going into this Huda Beauty palette. Woohoo! Mate, this feels so luxury. This is the Desert Dusk palette. James got it for me from um, New York. It's actually really heavy. Like even this bit here where the mirror is, really heavy it feels really nice and I'm just going to take another brush I'm going to take the purple which is called amethyst one here and that's also going to go through the crease but I'm not going to blend it out as much as I have the pink and then I'm going to go back in with the pink start blending that edge The next palette I'm going to be using is the Zoeva Matte, I think it's just Zoeva Matte palette, yeah, this one, I'm going to take this one at the end, this really dark, it looks like, I don't know, but it's called Two Clocks, it looks like a really deep purpley brown, and I'm just going to pack that on like the mobile part of your lid, this bit here, and I'm going to pat that on. Patting is what gives you that colour payoff comes out super bold so I pat it on first and then blend so I've just gone up to where the crease is and then I need to obviously blend where the crease is so that they both blend together and then I'm going to go back into the purple from the Huda Beauty palette and put that where the crease is where the two colours meet so it really does help it blend this lighting is literally just so butters so about it. Foundation to actually use today. I've got the Fenty Beauty one or the Huda Beauty one. I used the Huda Beauty one the last one. So I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty one. This one. Yeah. Right, and the Fenty Beauty foundation. This one is in 290.
I'm then going to go in with the Makeup, Revol oh, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This one is in C3. I really love this concealer. The only thing with it is it runs out so quickly. It's the only thing. I feel like I look like flipping. What's that swan film? Black swan. I actually like black swan right now. I should put some of that makeup. So now using the NYX palette, contour and do my under eye. This is just what I always use, it's my favourite one. Honestly, what is going it looks like I've literally just woken up. And then bronzer is MAC Give Me Sun. So I'm going to do the lower part of my eyes now, so pretty much like the same kind of things that we've been using. I'm going to use the pink first from the Juvia's Place palette and do my under eye. There we go, that's that pink on. It's going to be very smoky by the woo. So what I'm going to do now is put my lashes, liner and mascara on and then I'll be back in a second. So now I'm going to do my highlight and I'm going to use the Fenty highlight. Uh, oh my god, I love it so much. One of them is blinding. I swear to you, it's blinding. Can't open it. That's the one thing I can't open it, so I've dug a hole in one side of it. I can't. I actually can't with that. I'm going to a smaller brush to put it on my um, my chin and my nose. So it can be a whole bunch of things that are ruining your look. But um, yeah, it turns out my hair's made me feel a little bit better. Changing my outfits made me feel a little bit better just a little bit um i feel like i've got a lot of darkness around my nose is that just the camera i'm just gonna put a little bit of gloss on this is just a 3d effects bourgeois clear it won't be clear anymore so if this offends you mixing them together that'll do we weren't feeling this. I don't know what the hell's happened today. I honestly think it is the lighting for one my full soz. So I can't actually tell right now because the camera's so far away from me because I've got like a different type of lens. So it's so far away by the window that you can hear what's going on outside probably more than what you can hear me. And um ooh, the highlight all. This is today's look, obviously. Let me just get rid of that now. But it, please let me know down below if you prefer me talking to you like this or if you prefer me doing um, voiceovers. They probably are less mumbly because I filter what I'm saying. But then because I'm filtering it, it doesn't seem as real. Not real. Characteristic. Is that the word? I don't know. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, then please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm so close to... 18k and it's been a long time coming i really want to be at 20 but it's, it's taking so long please subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye